Right, I picked up the iPad box from Canon now and I'm going to have to figure out how to make room here for it. Fit the iPad 2 box here so I guess we'll just back some of this other PC gibble garble out of the way and stick it right there. Yeah, we'll work with that later. Kind of just jumping into today's video. Today is actually Monday and this is actually Monday's vlog here on the 20. Sixth, I think. It's a beautiful day, except it's cold. We had a cold front come in yesterday. It's gonna last until tomorrow morning. It's supposed to freeze overnight, which is gonna suck. Um, I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. I'm not worried about the grass, but new leaves and stuff like that and all the blossoms down there, it's gonna take a toll on that for sure. It's just about 3.05 right now. It's like 40 degrees. It's supposed to hit 45 in the later hours of the afternoon, then really cold overnight and back up to like 58 tomorrow, so that's fine. But Jack and Kenan are on the way over and we're going up to Marshall Goldman. I originally didn't want to drive all the way up there and burn through an eighth of a tank of gas. Uh, there's an Enzo, which I've seen plenty of Enzos, uh, but they really want to see that for whatever reason. But there's also a BMW 850 CSI, one of like 225 or however many of those they made. Um, it's red, it's got 7,000 miles on it, it's immaculate. I'm gonna answer this phone call and maybe we'll film the 8 Series in the Enzo, I don't know. Okay, there's those two Lamborghini, whatever, whatever they are. 430, 430, Enzo, 599, 550, 6112. Right, Kenan? 6112, hey Jack. Hey. Yeah, cool shit. Well, we got uh, Taylor and Kenan back there in the Focus, and Jack and I here in the Acura. Pretty good, right? We are waiting at the light. Better get that back and drive before the light goes green. Anyways, they are back there in the Focus! We are headed over to Acme, and wow, beautiful night for a drive. All right, now it's time to explain today uh, from a week ago in travel. This would have been Monday the 19th, a great day. Um, we visited University of California, San Diego, which is in La Jolla. I did some filming. The first big, very odd looking building you see is the second largest library in the United States, second to the Library of Congress. The part that you actually see is the quiet study area. The rest of it is underground. It is massive, just absolutely huge. Uh, they told us how many books they had. It was several million. Um, it's incredible. So that's the first building you're going to see. Let me uh, scrub through some more of this, see what else is in here. There's a lot of stuff from around campus. I uh, filmed our tour guide for a couple seconds. Then we went over like a, th a two minute walk west from campus uh, across the street is the glider port in La Jolla. There's some beautiful views from there. Um, so you're going to see some of that. And it's really, really, really beautiful. This is the day the clouds cleared. It was pretty cloudy in the morning. Then when we look north uh, up the coast, you'll see it was very clear. And looking south, it's still a little cloudy. Then we saw some cars. I uh, saw another FF. I thought it was the same Ferrari FF that we had looked at the previous day at Ferrari of San Diego. It's not. I checked the pictures. It's a different color, exterior and interior. So that would make the second FF on the trip. Uh, did some filming of that. Tons of Maseratis. Then we went back over to the La Jolla coast and filmed a bunch of stuff there. It's my favorite place in California is La Jolla, of course. Uh, more Maseratis. Hope you like cars, because these are probably really boring if you don't. We figured out what kind of engine the, um, what was it? We had a Camaro had. It was a 3.6 liter. We did find that out. 3.6 liter V6. It sounded good if you dug into it, and it actually would go. So it was not nearly as bad. It wasn't nearly as bad as we expected it to be being Chevy. Uh, then we ended up going over to Ferrari or Fisker of San Diego. And we were in the dealership for a good 20 to 30 minutes before anybody even came inside from the back and started talking to us. So we were sitting in two or three Fisker Karmas, did some filming inside uh, before anybody even came and talked to us. And I'll be perfectly honest, the Fisker Karma, the, the Sport, or whatever the better model is, has the best interior uh, leather and materials of any car I have ever seen, been in, heard of, read of, read about. The, the leather was just amazing quality Napa leather. It was really, really beautiful. Far better than anything I've ever seen. We also went over to Aston Martin uh, which of San Diego, which had, they had two repeats, and we took a look at some Lodi. And then I was just walking around downtown, did some filming, and that's going to be it. It's only about five minutes, so enjoy day three of the trip, still from San Diego. Yeah. 
Geisel. Um, another piece of art is right here. It is the snake path, which we typically would have walked down, but it's very slippery when it's wet, so we won't do it. The tree of knowledge. You guys know what it is? Garden of Eden. Where at Halloween time, they dropped this huge pumpkin, little candy off of the largest list. The La Jolla Glider Port here. <laughs> paradise. Absolute paradise. It's a long way down. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, as that girl was saying, it's five. Yeah, that's a nice BMW. This one. Yeah. It's brand new. Uh, the Phantom. I think it's the Phantom. It's probably the same one that was at Ferrari of San Diego. My God, look at that. FF. Future freshman. Sand brown. This has a butterscotch. How, how do you know that? Did you say that to me? Yeah. Water temperature 55. How did they get up there? He wants up there, but how is he going to get up there from there? There's another one. Another GT. That one sounds good. You hear that? Wow. Just as I turned the camera on, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's another 1M. It could just be... Yeah, it's not a 1M. It's like a 128 with an M badge on it. Fake. It's a 6. It's a dirty 6. No sign of uh, displacement. But it is a 6. We knew that much. No room back here, but the rest of it feels good. Oh, it's tight. Oh. Hmm. Funky connection. Yeah, it's a little bit of space back there. Hey guys, uh, it's um, almost 7 o'clock and I've got the best view behind me right now. Beautiful downtown. I just walked out here to take some photos and then the sun kind of went behind this building. But I'm going to come out tomorrow. It's supposed to be perfectly clear in about 70. Before we leave tomorrow afternoon to head for LA, I'm going to come out and uh, get some better pictures of this beautiful city from the island. 
All right, check it out. We got a plane coming in over there, and we had another helicopter. I have seen nothing but A-10 warthogs all day flying in and out of North Island over here, and it is gorgeous. Okay, you've got that behind you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Today was a pretty dead day. Today was Monday. It was actually a really good Monday. I went to sleep about 4.19 in the morning. I got up at 7. I'm running on sub three hours of sleep. It's 11.15 p.m. I feel great. I don't know what's going on. I haven't eaten a lot today. I feel really good. Um, so I'm probably going to crash very soon, which will put me back on East Coast time very quickly. I made no attempts to make my time change over the weekend coming in from California on late Friday night. Um, so I'm still very much on West Coast time right now, even after that small amount of sleep. I'm working on that. So uh, that's it. We had a good day. We looked at that 8 series at Marshall Goldman. It's a, it's a 96, I think, 850 CSI with a 6-speed manual, the 5.7 liter V12 with 380 horsepower. Immaculate condition, beautiful wheels, tires, paint, it was red. The interior was perfect, it had 7,000 miles on it, and they did want $79,000 for it, which is near what it was new. That's a lot of money for an old car that is notorious for having mechanical failures, because BMW essentially took two straight sixes, put them together to get a V12, and then they used dual ignition, dual fuel pumps, dual everything, and all of that stuff had problems, because it was the only one they did. So that's a really, really great example of an 8 Series, but it would cost so much, I think, to keep up and drive. Uh, and 7,000 miles in 20-some years, that's got to be hard on it. Um, well, 15, 20 years. So anyways, that's it for today, uh, both with me and a week ago. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night, guys.